save that for later. I was going to talk about that. Ah, man. Lately I've just been picking up the guitar and noodling around with, uh, well, a lot of Christmas songs and uh, even planning on getting some great ones together for you guys that want to want to play them. Um, I'll get back to the obstacles. They, they, they keep getting out of control. I think, oh, that's going to make a really good one. I can make it like a level three or something. And then I spend a little more time playing it and it gets just it gets messy but let me talk I'll, I'll get back to that a little bit later i'll show you some some uh, samples of things that i hope to have up in the next couple days because you know we're, we're running out of time to be practicing practicing christmas tunes uh what happened this week it is uh it's the ninth i guess friday december 9th and um the uh one thing that finally did open the door for for me to be able to get back on these christmas tunes was finishing up this one So I hope uh, those of you who've been waiting and waiting for years on Death Don't Have No Mercy have had a chance to check it out, and uh, it's been it's been added to the Reverend Gary Davis pack, by the way, too. So if you uh, if you already have that pack, it's now in there. You don't have to get it again. It's it's a bonus now. Um, that was the only thing I ended up getting together this week, um, but I did. Uh, you know, many of you maybe. Uh, don't know that we have a fairly large mailing list and uh, specials go out like every Saturday I send out a uh, a um, stuff that uh, a quick note of what's what's on sale here and it's usually packs of some sort and uh, this week we also got hooked up with um, a company who I have been familiar with for many years now song surgeon um, and it's something I use a lot. So if you hope, uh, well, it depends on what I'm working on. Like sometimes weeks will go by and I won't use it for anything, but then other times I'll get involved in a lesson and I'll need to hear something either in a different key or, um, or slower or faster. Not too often do I need to speed it up, but it's a really cool tool that will take, uh, any audio file and there's a, it's, it's relative video surgeon and it'll, uh, slow it down, change the pitch or slow it down and not change the pitch or change the pitch and speed it up whatever you want to do it's all it's all pretty cool remind you know it, it I think back to the days when a student would come into a lesson with a record that they wanted to learn something off of and I had to take it home and figure it out with you know trying not to scratch it up too much and then bring come back the next week and show them now you know after a while I, I knew a lot of songs but um, and then we had this cool Morantz tape recorder that was a um, variable speed one. Not only could you cut the speed in half, which was really helpful for hearing a, like a fast solo, was a Eruption. I remember working on Van Halen's Eruption one time and I thought, I gotta hear this slower. So there's a half speed button, which of course drops it a whole octave too. So then you have to like do the math and the mental gyrations to, to get that all mm -hmm. figured out. But um, anyway. That is uh, that was that, that was a pretty cool and it was variable speed meaning we could slow it down or speed it up just a little bit which changed the pitch a little too so that was handy if something was like a half step off like a famous tune the, the boxer is one of those that was recorded a half step lower than standard pitch now it might just be that they slowed it down I'm not sure but 
Anyway, um, so uh, yeah, if, if you've been following the, the mail, we have a special deal going this week with, with the Song Surgeon people. Uh, so if anybody would like to use it, you know, there are really only two things I use a lot other than, than like my ears and, uh, and guitars and things like that. And the other one is, of course, Guitar Pro. And so I, I, I'm sure many of you have picked up Guitar Pro. It's pretty handy to have. Uh, and almost, it, well, everything that I put together in lessons and everybody else does, we uh, include a Guitar Pro file uh, that will play it for you and you can watch the notes as they, as, they, as they play. And you can, same thing, you can speed it up or slow it down. So anyway, those are the two little uh, utilities, useful tools that, that I think every guitar player should consider having, Guitar Pro and Song Surgeon. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, some of the things that I've been messing with and then I might try to, try to do something that I probably shouldn't, but we'll see what happens. Here's an example of uh, a song that I thought I would finish off this week because I thought this is going to be like a this this level three finger picking scene thing. It's just going to go something like this. Real steady alternating bass thing and then a very regular melody. Let's see how it goes. I decided which how I want how I want that part to go yet. That, that's probably it though. Makes it a little more. It, it's that's the hardest part of the song. Then then of course back to the same little four measure phrase. Oh no, it's different. Now I've had a few students lately work on trying to piece that together, and you could get started on this on your own first. You just saw the chords. It's A. A, A, E, A. Two lines of that. Then the third line, E, A, F sharp minor, B7, E. D. So if you just piece that together with the melody, There, I just gave away most of the lesson that I was going to try to try to finish up that didn't get didn't happen because then it got out of control. I thought, let's do something else. I wonder if we could do it in a different octave or add some harmony. Oh, got to got to go back down an octave. No, we don't. Yeah, we do, because otherwise it's going to get too high. That's too hard to play chords up there, so we take that back down an octave. Ooh. That's what I mean. See, it's, it's now... It's starting to take on a life of its own, and um, I got so far off track with trying to make it cooler and cooler instead of making it simpler and simpler. Okay, don't let me do that. This happened with, here's another one that was gonna, this one was gonna be hard, and it's still gonna be hard. Um, That's the intro. I think I did. I played this. I messed around with this a little bit last week or the week before. Because then we get into this, right?
wanted to do a different melody note there. That one is just about finished, and I uh, hope, to, hope to get that all written out soon. And what was the other one that, that ah, this was going to be easy too. And then I thought, you know what, I need a, like a cool little intro. Oh, the, I played this back at the beginning. I was messing around with this. Um, Into John Fahey style Christmas fantasy now, I guess, huh? If it was really a John Fahey, he wanted to do something more like this, though. Even more. Oh, come on, stop. Get me out of here.
Anyway, you can see what I mean. These things just get, they, they take on, ugh, they take over. Okay, that's probably enough. Here's, oh, oh, don't even, here's another one that I've been just tossing around the idea of trying to put together an instrumental. I don't think this is gonna work. sevens playing easy okay let's see if we got four I'm only gonna go to four or five let's see what happens here oh much better to hit the open B7 okay uh, we get to five it's gotta be something different right melody after that, right? No, it's the same all the way. Then. Okay, I, um, I think that's all I wanted to, to talk about today. It wasn't a whole lot of talking, but but uh, but I'm having fun fun playing these tunes. Hopefully, I will get some more of these lessons up. Uh, I will get at least one of them up in the next couple of days. Maybe maybe all three or the ones I was did I, why was I talking about three. I'll be home. Silver bells and deck the halls. Yeah. Okay. That is my agenda. I hope yours is something similar. Getting a chance to work on some fun songs and whether they're Christmas songs or Gary Davis tunes, it's. Uh, totally up to you. See you next week.